Hi guys! So it's a gruesome rainy day outside, but it's still pretty nice here in the greenhouse. I thought we'd make a little video today to get you caught up on how things are looking out here. I think it's been exactly two weeks since I've made a video about how things are growing. So here's some updates. Here are our zinnias. Look how lush and beautiful they are. Here are the marigolds getting really big. Um, let's see, back here we have one of the other kind of marigolds that you guys planted. Here's where I've started to um, separate some amaranthus, some love lies bleeding. Over here you see all the different kinds of salad greens that we planted. These are really looking lush. This is baby spinach, arugula. This is a mescaline or a mixed green lettuce. We have some more over here, more spinach, more arugula. Now, none of these have popsicle sticks in them really because I can identify them just by looking at their leaves as we sell them to people because I can come and look at them and know what they are. I'm not so worried. Like you can see right there, there's a little kale hidden in there. Isn't that kind of lovely? All those different shades of green and how the kale shows up. Here's our scented geraniums. Look at this. This has only happened a few times in the past where we've gotten one of the scented geraniums to flower. The little pink flowers aren't all that interesting, um, but it is the beautiful scent. Look at the moonflowers and the nasturtiums. So here's my hand, so you can kind of get a sense of how big some of these leaves are. This has been a really happy experiment for me. It's one of the good things that comes out of trying to having to do something differently. Um, I've we've never grown nasturtiums. I mean. I'm gonna set them down here so you guys can see them. These are kind of intertangled. So we've never had nasturtiums look quite like this before. Sorry about the shaky camera action. I mean, that's just spectacular. These are gonna be loaded with beautiful yellow and orange flowers. They're going to continue to tumble like this. Just look at them. Just look at how incredible they are. Now you can see the way we normally grow nasturtiums is in a hanging basket. And so here's a hanging basket that I started with nasturtiums in it. And look at the difference in the size of the leaves. I mean, these have just, so here's, here's two separate plants. You can see they need to be watered. But look at the size of the leaves for the ones that are growing on their own, just in a single pot compared to the ones, there's four plants in here. So I'm really learning something this year where I'm doing all this by myself and figuring things out. It's been kind of a cool learning curve for me. It's a heater blowing on those. I wanna change that so that you don't get blown on. So those nasturtiums are just like spectacular. Look just how lush they are, it's awesome. Next to the nasturtiums, we have moonflower. Same thing here, I've never done these alone. These are all tangled together. I'm gonna have to pull them apart eventually. Look at that, <laughs> definitely a vine. Wow, oh, those, look at that, those are, Let's see if I can pull it up. I broke a little off, but that's okay. So this is that herbaceous annual vine. These are gonna get big white flowers as big as my, well, bigger than my hand. Some more lettuce, some more spinach. Here's our experiments from earlier in the semester that we did before. Here's the little rosemary cuttings. This one is so healthy that you can see that it has a new shoot. New shoot going. Sierra, here are your little ivies. See how there's some new fresh growth on some of these? That tells us just how healthy they are. That's new growth. This one looks like it's probably not going to make it. Here's some, uh, this is some cauliflower. 
Now all of these flowering plants here are all things that I still have to transplant and divide. This is portulaca. November, I think you and Taylor did the portulaca. There's like a thousand little plants here. We've got to split those up. Here's something else that's flowering all again already. This is alyssum. Alyssum is an annual um, ground cover. It's not gonna get any taller like that, like a ground cover would do. So we have it here in two colors. Here's the white, and I'm just noticing down here that purple is flowering as well. And again, this was started in big flats and needs to be divided and transplanted. So now we're coming over here to our herb table. This should look a lot different to you than the last time I showed you. Parsley, Thai basil, standard basil. Here's our basil blend with some purple basil, some Thai basil, and some sweet basil all mixed together. This is ready to harvest right here. I can start pinching out pieces of the basil. So what we can do with this basil is I can pinch the tops out like this and I can start using it. I could make some pesto. Here's our cilantro. Now over here are some things now that we're definitely going to decide that was a failure. Whether it was the rodents, the seeds, that, so these are all going to get dumped. I'm going to need that space. Here's our baby sage coming up. These come up a little bit more slowly. Now here we're on to some lemon balm and hessop. Here's some yummy, yummy, yummy thyme. It's great stuff for herb gardens. We've got thyme, we've got oregano, more parsley. Now look at those tomatoes. The tomatoes are now all divided. The ones that were divided first are really taking off. So these are all the big boys here. These are the ones that were floppy the last time I showed them to you, right after they had initially been transplanted. And look how healthy they are now. And we've got some beef steak. And you can see that the ones that are the more kind of specialty, what do we got here? We've got some ace tomatoes. A few here that got dry, but, but they'll perk up as soon as I water them. Here's our Cherokee purples. Our glaciers, red Siberian, some sun golds. I didn't put all of these on the list. There's your blush tigers. So these guys are a little bit smaller, but I think they're gonna take right off. I did fertilize with the Dositron on Friday, and so things will pop right up once they get with the Dositron. Uh, some more tomatoes over here. Here's our very small crop of pepper plants. They're growing but they are pretty small. Here's some zinnias, some more zinnias that we started. And look at our kale. Look at that, this is all kale. I've been harvesting this every couple days. I've been giving it to people in the community who can use it and eating some of it myself. This spinach is now ready to harvest as well, this baby spinach. I'll go around and harvest it just like I did the kale in the earlier videos. And I might even mix it all together, I'll mix them kale and some spinach and some of the lettuces together. Um, I've divided several flats now of kale. These are all ones that are still left to be divided. If you would like one of these little flats of kale, you just let me know and I can arrange having them either dropped off to you or you can pick them up out here at the greenhouse. I can leave it out on the table and you can come and pick it up. You'd wanna divide it just like I did into these flats. You'd wanna make sure that each little plant had plenty of space, but kale can go outside now. So if anybody would like kale, by all means, let me know. So that's looking good. Um, to answer some of the questions that I've been getting, the raised beds and all the feedback, it's been great, the questions. So yes, these plants, many of these plants are gonna end up out in the raised beds. That's how the garden's going to grow through the summer is with the plants that we start here in the greenhouse. Um, I'm also gonna put some seeds out in the raised beds. 
So Abby O'Brien's doing a good job. She was out there working on the raised beds. Look at how great the jades are doing. Here's that big one for that of Bruce's that Maddie and Ashley transplanted. Just looks awesome. November, unfortunately, the update on your Pussy Willows is that they did get tossed out last week. They're officially dead, but your own personal succulents are looking really nice. So things are really looking um, lush, looking beautiful, kind of lonely without you guys, but things are coming along. Uh, Zach had asked me how the Cleomies were doing. You can come on over here and see one of those Cleomies still flowering, looking great. Taylor, this Looks like a new bud on the top of your crown of thorns. So that's some nice, fresh green growth. Riley, all these, uh, all these panda plants are looking awesome. Katie, your snakes are thriving. Gabby, look how bright green your asparagus ferns are doing. And your wood hyacinths look very happy. So, Tayla. Here we have your Swedish Ivy. Look how nice and happy and healthy they look. I am so glad that we did all of this meadow. Here's the, here are the spider plants. I am so glad that we did all that plant care. The wandering Jews look great. The fact that we did all that plant care before the, at the beginning of the semester really ultimately worked out great. All right, so we'll close out with a little update on the fish. That big fern is doing awesome on top of the fish pond. Here we go. No turtles out today. I think it's because it's not sunny. I think the rain has kept the turtles inside. We're underwater. Oh, there they are. Sometimes when I hear my voice, they come right up to say hi. All right, well, I'll sign out now. I hope you guys have a great day. This is your weekly update from the greenhouse.